What is going on everyone? My name is Boyd and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology, the Titans action, following the bottom lap and the blue color playing as a set. His name is Magyar, his opponent today in the red color playing as a Poseidon. His name is Adafang. The map is Tundra. Magyar is up three to zero in this best of who knows series. I think I just played a bunch of games or it was a tournament game and it was a a really long series or something, I don't know. We are seeing uh, Magyar with his set taking many games off Adafang and Adafang trying all the different gods in order to try and win against him. Poseidon, I think, has always kind of been viewed for the Greek civs as the Egyptian killer because you're basically forced to play the game in a way that counters what Egyptian does. So you're forced to play with cavalry. You don't get the option of having super hoplite or the option of having um, uh, extra extra favor and, and, and faking your way into making a centaur and stuff where it's get counted pretty heavily by priests and things like that. Uh, so you're kind of forced to play, um, you're kind of forced to play cavalry, heavy cavalry, and, and also you get access to curse, which is a really big heroic age power spike. Um, on a certain fight. So you, you can use that to really punish some players here. And we do see the Catascopus is out. Pharaoh coming through. Told me out. If you know, if you can tell me in chat whose name was Tommy, who smurfed with Tommy as their name in um, Age Mythology, you get uh, the prize of bragging rights. <laughs> um, but that's an interesting defense against the Catascopus there. You bring your Pharaoh forward. Uh, most people just bring a villager forward because um, I think if you have five villagers gathering from a caribou, that's equal to six villagers gathering from a caribou. Because you get an extra three villager, three food every time they dump a, um, a thing, and three times five is 15, and they gather 15 food. So you want to, you could probably just take the villager forward, but bringing the pharaoh forward um, meant that you could re heal that priest, I guess. So fair enough. Fair enough. Um, Magyar doing the scouting. I I'm not sure exactly what the best play here for Magyar is. I assume shifting sands, the uh, the villagers. Um, I like to see a 430 here for Poseidon and just cease fire the shifting sands. So you trade your, your cease fire for, um, for those villagers to not die. Uh, and also that allows you to get out of Polita, maybe getting out of town center or something. You know, it's, um, and then you just have to kind of fight against ancestors and fighting against just a plain ancestors is much easier than ancestors eclipse. So I think people overvalue the ceasefire against ancestors in general, because you can counter it with just like one wall as well. So we'll see what Adafang does. He does have, he loves this. He loves this four village of wood. Two villager gold strap. Um, what it does is it gives him access to pickaxe and he's advancing pretty late to be honest. Magyar not advancing yet either, doing a really late advance time himself. Which is bizarre. Maybe Magyar going for, oh no, no it's a super fast advance time for Adafang. I completely missaw that. It's like 3.45 or something. Sorry, four minutes 15 or something. And then Magyar, on the other hand, maybe maybe 4.45, advance here. Yeah, advance here, surely. Yeah, you're going for 4.45. So, um, Adafang's gonna have out Apolita and, uh, and Theseus here to defend. So that's the other thing that Poseidon has over um, Zeus and, and Hades in the advancing fast war is uh, Lua allows you to not have to build another granary, which means you can get out your heroic age, your classical age hero a little bit easier. And we don't see him building it straight away, which is a bit sad, just getting out a village first, which is fine. Bring a stable out and a centaur moving forward and checking out what's going on. If Catascope is checking out, we do see the priest running away. And potentially we've got the Arctic Wolf looking for something, but he does get picked off by the Centaur. And Magyar doesn't really have, well, he has, a, he has an Auric over here to check out. So we'll see him probably just run straight into this gold mine and shifting sands this, which is fine. Just ceasefire it and you're fine. 
ceasefire and then um uh, or even like attack this location here might maybe the option as well but runs in shifting sands kicks off gets three villagers here so it's, there's the ceasefire so Adafang loses maybe a 40 30 seconds of villager time on these three villagers loses his ceasefire but should be able to continue in this game at, in a relatively decent fashion. Maybe. Maybe we'll see. He is going two stables here, which is standard one town center play, and you get a late second town center. And by late, I don't mean like late, but like obviously fast two town center is grab this town center straight away. Late two town center is you, you go double only two military buildings, so you can support three military buildings. Um, it's fine. Well, okay, it's drawing up third stable, not going for the late town center. Speedman getting produced from Mad Girl. I like these classical fights against Poseidon as a set as well. Speedman really strong, um, units in general. What do they get? Like 10% extra damage. So it's not a lot. It only puts them up to like 7.7 .7 damage. But every bit helps. And then uh, you also get access to the, the armory upgrade, which gives them extra pierce damage or something. Or pierce um, armor. I'm going to be seeing Adafine checking out this location. Going to be preventing this food from being gathered. I'd like to see that as the villagers move forward. Apollo's, this this army actually kind of wins here if he micros it correctly, but oh, it's getting losing some damage on this. And the Polter and Theseus slow this army down quite a bit, so the Centaur does get picked off. Adafan going to be running away from here. Not ready to fight that one, I guess. Still pumping out Hippocon. And oh, get the of Apollo, dude. These these old players. Oh no, he picks it up. I was gonna say, Cathar Apollo is one of those relics people really underappreciate. Being able to move your villagers faster means that when they're farming, they gather faster. It's not only they gather um, faster because they can walk faster to the town center to put them back to the farm, but they also walk between animations faster. So if you don't know how farming works, basically, what happens is you can only gather food while the villager is doing the plow um that they're, they're, while they're while they're doing their animation when they do that animation they get a little bit of food so if they walk faster they walk faster to their next animation so they get they get more animations faster as well um and and that's uh that's also an advantage and, and not only that you also get advantages with village walking time dumping their um, their wood and their gold and, and all that other good stuff. And you can also run your villages forward to build um, buildings and things like that. We, we do see the Hvalta picking off some units here. This is a really big army here for Magyar, seeing at 93 pop to Adafang's 71 pop. And now we're only just seeing the archery ranges here. And Adafang's gonna have to get off this. He's gonna have no food. I guess he's got food over here. Ford gold mine. We we'll actually get up. You just need to get up. Uh, watchtowers here, and, and you're fine to defend. I wouldn't try and fight this just yet. We just see a second town center up for Magyar as well. And we spamming those villages out, and uh, trying to get that control and trying to get food and all, all the like like that. We do see the slinger gets picked off. Yeah, it feels good. Feels good. Scout checking out this town center, making sure that doesn't get grabbed. I, I wouldn't be building Toxodes at this point. Um, heavy, heavy, uh, medium, medium cavalry here is enough to defeat. Uh, if you, a full, a full population medium cavalry is kind of enough to defeat this army. Uh, you want to grab this second town center as soon as you can. So wasting your wood on Toxodes, which get picked off really fast against these slingers, it's a really bad idea. As soon as you see, if you see your opponent not making slingers, then you can build. Then you can build um, Toxodes. If they are building Slingers, you don't want to build Toxodes. You just want to build Hippocon. But, I mean, if you micro well enough, it's fine. Seeing some Spearman raids, looking like they've spotted a, a location they can come and raid. 
Uh, out of fang, kind of out of position here. He's trying try to chase these guys down. He does find the sling is out of position here. And these villagers are going to be getting raided. That's a huge raid right now. There's no way these villagers get away without at least a couple of them dying. And he's running forward, maybe maybe having a fight here. You see the sling is going to be... Um, going to be moving in and we just see medium spin and comes out clutch and no upgrades right now for Adafang here on the uh, on the stable front so these people are going to be upgraded versus the uh, the, the, the uh, medium spearmen but and, and there we go we're also seeing the slingers here having picking off those toxodes instantly and you see how useless they are in this fight when they have slingers and I mean, there is the heroes here for Adafang. There's Hippolyta and, and Theseus do a lot of damage, and it's looking like while the fight went in the favor of Adafang, it's um, a lot of a lot of pickoffs for uh, for Magyar, and, and, and it's not as bad as you think. I think uh, Magyar's population is probably going to be well, actually I tell a lie, 57 to 76, but it's not like it's 100 to 57 or something like that. We do see this uh, media spearman finally picked off. And I'm gonna have to think about a different way to continue in this game. Now, I think he's gonna have quite a significant advantage here. And I'd love him to, like I said, I'd love him to cancel these Toxodes. Just grab three town centers here. If he could grab the three town centers, um, his boom would be huge. He'd be able to produce these Hippocon out again after he started producing villages. And then he's gonna just get to the Mythic Age really fast. But we'll see. We'll see. There's no gold mines here for um for Maggie to grab. So this could potentially just be a gold staff. And then, actually, I tell a lie. This gold mine here is really good. And but the barracks, um, yeah, and the barracks going up is going to be enough here. A little ghost building on this location here. Um, but definitely want to pick off the one that's higher here, so you can maybe pick it off a little bit faster. And Adafang going to be making a full move into this location. Magyar's only got slingers left. He's on farms here. Uh, he needs to get out. Spearman, we've got a watchtower coming up in the back. There's no crenellations for it. This barracks gets picked off as well. Another watchtower coming in. The rest of Adafang's army is coming here to greet Magyar as he's starting to push forward. And these slingers in the back are going to be no match. Uh, we'll see if if um, Adafang just throws away units here, but the villagers are starting to fight here. And with the, the help of the Watchtower, this is gonna be a really difficult fight for uh, Adafang to win. He's got Town Center Fire dealing almost 20 damage a shot if you leave these um, Slingers in here, which is actually probably, uh, maybe not better. Oh yeah, maybe it is actually better for the Slingers to be garrisoned here to do extra damage. But um, the Toxodes sitting in the back here do prevent this tower, and they're gonna be doing a lot of damage, but all of the Hippocon have now fallen. Still no crenellations, but Hippolyta in the back here can do a lot of damage and everything else is going to be pumping units, flooding into this location. Going for a gold star, we do see these villagers have run up to this top gold mine and he's going to start trying to grab from there. The, uh, the Hippocon trying to pick up these slingers and the slingers, nice micro into the town center. Magyar sitting at 82 population, trying to build out as many units as he possibly can. These villagers are going to be falling though. Um, still no crenellations and now he has to build out mercenary. The mercenary are really strong, but they die at a really fast for these Toxodes here. And it's 90 gold a pop here. So, so if they're not doing damage, this is what you want. You want to pick them off really fast. And, and that's what Adafang's doing. And it's looking like Adafang's going to be able to take this gold mine and pick off even more villages. So a lot of trades going on though. Magyar is probably not so unhappy with it. He's now on this gold mine over here with a pharaoh. Um, but Adafang is just happy to pick villages off left, right, and center. And we've got a Wadget popping out as well, but that's going to get picked off instantly by the Polita. And Adafang's going to get 97 population. He's got a lot of food in the bank, a lot of gold missing, though. He needs to have more villages on gold to keep this flood going. Um, these Hippocons should just run onto this watchtower, pick it off. Don't retreat away from this location, but Magyar, and now there's still only three villages over there trying to pump onto that location. The Catascopus was picked off, I believe. Yeah, he's run up to this gold mine or something. Now the uh, Hippocon running over onto this gold mine, which is a really smart move, trying to prevent that. Where is he going with these? Later. He's going onto this gold mine, okay. He doesn't know, or he should know, because he sees a mining camp there. All right, now we've got even more watchtowers coming up at, for Magyar, trying to, trying to uh, stop this gold mine. Or, control this gold mine but the toxodes do pick that one off nice and quickly when it's a building construction they do crazy amounts of stuff and now we've got the uh hippocon they're gonna find these villages but 
Again, medium hippo not medium hippocomb will do a lot here in these villages. Or get a help out from an arctic wolf. And he's going to be retreating away or trying to pick off these guys as he's retreating away from this location. And the uh, spearmen are out yet again. So Magyar managing to defend this spot. Gets the watchtower out. Um, has a couple of slingers here, which are enough. With the, uh, with the help of the Wadget to force these, these um, Toxodes away. Uh, and that's pretty big now for Adafa or for Magyar. So Magyar manages to, to stay alive, even losing all those villages there. So I think the economy is probably a little bit even right now, even after losing all those villages, because he's been on two town centers for so long. Um, so we'll see what Adafang's plan is here. He's got a couple of Santa getting queued up. Just cancel these and get your town centers, man. Cancel them. Cancel them. Ah. Ah, so annoying. And there's the town center going up, finally. Um, but yeah, I guess the big issue right now for Adafang is actually over-economized because he doesn't have town centers. He's got a lot of villages that have been building um, and hasn't lost that many. He's looking to fight still. Now this army is pretty big here for Magyar with the Wadget, but the Volatier in the back is going to do a lot of damage, pulling these Toxodes back, trying to bring those Wadget forward. Now he has the medium Hepicon. They stop being so easy to kill for Magyar here, and the Volatier does die, so Adafang should probably just leave this location. These Wadget do too much damage without heroes to help out, and we see even more Watchdowers coming down for Magyar as he's trying to survive in this location here. There's the town center and had a fan. Still no other town center. Still has his um has some centaur out, but I don't like building centaur against Egyptian because if he can get the pharaoh to attack a couple of times, then it's um it's dead centaur. Just dead centaur. And also the wadget can kind of pick off the centaur as well. They got a little bit more range with the 18 range. And they do 200% bonus damage. Wild Centaur also only do only do 100% bonus damage. So it's not a lot of reason to be building them. Um, but we'll see. We'll see if Adafang can do anything right now. Uh, he is Greek and he's not in a bad position. But remember, he doesn't have ceasefire for the ancestors. And um, if he runs out of gold mines for an ancestor's push, it's going to be difficult. Magyar is looking like he's gearing to get to that mythic age. So to get gearing to get to that heroic age. He's putting up the next town center though. So it's still going to be in that um, class age for a little bit longer. Ooh, Spearman getting a huge raid onto these villagers. And Adafay not really reacting, but he's making a move forward. He's, he's decided to ignore that while he's trying to pick off this location. He can grab the watchtower, kill that one off, and then he can sit here for a little while. Adafang sitting at 130 pop to Magyar's 130 pop, but Magyar going to be clicking um, Heroic Age now. He still has a bunch of gold left in his gold mine, so he doesn't really care about this one. These villagers could move over here as well, put out some more watchtowers or whatever. Um, still, he has Crenellations now, so it's actually a dangerous thing to sit under those watchtowers and fight because they deal so much damage. Some raids onto these gold mines going to push, keep Adafang even further behind. These villagers idle now. Adafang with not enough food to grab three town centers. He's moving into this location, trying to pick off these watchtowers now. He will be able to do so, picking off some units. Some villages should fall, but the uh, Hippocom will die really fast as well because of those watchtowers. These villagers moving up to this location. He has and does spot them out. And now the army of Magyar here. Mercenary ca mercenary popping out. Spearmen popping out. Slingers are targeting down these Tox Odies. And, and this is going to be a dead Greek army. You don't want to throw this army away at all. That would be really bad. And he's going to be retreating out and trying to save as many of these units as he can. But now Magyar has picked off units for Adafang. He's going to keep Adafang in the... Um, Classical Age for a really long time. I think we've got 16 villages on gold, way too many now. I went from having not enough to too many. Um, and he's going to be struggling to get to that next age for a long time. So we'll see what happens here. But Magyar now has ancestors at his disposal. Migdal Stronghold coming up. Um, there's lots of gold mines on the map though, so we'll see if it matters. But Adafang going to be running out of this gold mine soon. He does have 1700 gold in the bank, so should be fine. But. 98 pop to Magyar's 132. Margaret's coming up for Magyar yet again, not putting them in the corners of the map, but what can you do? Hippocon getting sent over to this location. Does spot this uh, 
Migdol Stronghold, but we'll see. We'll see. He can, he's got medium upgrades now, so these villagers die a lot easier um, than they would usually die. And they are all going to garrison into that Migdol Stronghold. Uh, we've got some camo getting produced. The army for okay. Magyar making his way over here. And camo are getting picked off, but uh, can't really produce camo out onto these guys. I mean, you can, but once the spearmen get here, it's all defended. I think still not grabbing his third down center. So I think I think I think Magyar's going to be um, Mythic Age before I Fang's um, Heroic Age. Just because of how how good economically Magyar's been playing here. See my guy searching for gold mines, searching for places to attack. So what he needs to do is figure out where this stuff is. And he's finding a town center here. For some villagers to kill. These slingers don't do much damage. How long they take to pick off a, a villager in the back here. But oh, Scorpion down here. Looking for this gold mine in the back. It's going to do some damage, but there's nothing there. He's really just moved just as he's searching for it. So he's, he's going to see that it's out. So the back gold mine's out. Kamori hitting this top gold mine here as well. Siege Workshop coming up. Mugdol Stronghold coming up. Magyar going through Thoth. It's funny that we're seeing Thoth is the god of choice here when we've been seeing only Horus for, for like Set and Ra for the past I don't know, couple of years. Um, people used to think that Thoth was the best because you got access to Valley of the Kings and Tusk of... Um, uh, I can't remember what it's called. Tusk, Tusk of App... Apedamac, that's good. Apedamac, really good upgrades. Like, don't get me wrong. If you can get them out, it's really good. But Hoth, um, Horus spearmen are just so much better because they deal with the, uh, they just deal with cavalry so well and they're so cheap and they build so fast and they b b pick off siege as well really easily. But we'll see what happens. I finally gets that second town center. So many resources in the bank. You will actually be able to jump straight to the Mythic Age. But I feel like this town center is just going to go to an Ancestors Eclipse. Because, not Ancestors Eclipse, just to an Ancestors. Um, you see, even even so, um, Adafang's army is is distracted by the Scorpion. He does manage to surround it. So it will be dying. But Magyar can now make a move onto this town center while this is out of position. Ancestors, um, Thoth to finish it off maybe. Just needs to do a little bit of damage to it. Let's see if it happens here. As this gets pushed push down, there's the Ancestors making the move forward. Down center getting sieged at, and Adafang taps out as the Ancestors comes down. Doesn't even have to get to the, the pleasure of Thoth. And you think, you watch these games, and you're like, Adafang was here. Adafang was in this game. These series are close, and if he just knew the right, right thing to do, the right decision to do after he had um, picked off all of these units of Magyar, the right thing to do with two town centers get to the Mythic Age. That way you can defend against the ancestors with all four of your heroes. Doesn't do anything to you. Unlucky for him, he did go for the gold star but could not quite manage to get it. Um, it could have worked had he had like upgrades. Maybe pure Hippocon would have been a better option as well. Uh, but unfortunately, well fortunately, Magyar wins the game. Four wins for Magyar. Crazy dude. What a insane human this guy is. Let's give that point to Magyar. Um, yeah, we'll uh, move on to the next game uh, really shortly. Thanks for hanging out with me.